Hi, Christine here of yesnomads.com. Today we're going to show you a few more temples here in the Angkor region in Cambodia. We have just climbed up a little hill here and we're here at the Phnom Bakeng temple. And you really don't really want to do the climb in the height of the day, it's, it can be quite hot. So it's quite good in the morning. And also in the morning what is good is it's not so busy because this is a popular viewing point during sunset and apparently there's also a limited number of people. I saw a sign down there and yes, yeah, 300 people can only come up here at a time. This temple, it was apparently it was the first monument built in the Angkor area at the end of the 9th century. Oh. This is the Bayon Temple. It is famous for these giant faces. After our quiet exploration at Phnom Pakeng in the morning, it felt as though we suddenly stepped into an ant's nest because Bayon was very busy. But it is definitely worth seeing. Bayon originates from the late 12th century and aside from the giant faces, it contains some very good bas relief. Here you can see now a bit more of Bayon. And yeah, the area of Angkor Thom is very big and there are various temples to see. You can spend hours there. Bayon is a good starting point and then you can walk your way through to the other temples. We walked past a few temples, which you can also see here. We met our driver vet at the Leper King Terrace and there was also a market and a restaurant and we ate something there afterwards. If you have a driver, you should discuss your meeting point beforehand because you don't really want to walk all the way back to Bayon. And another tip for you is if you want to buy any souvenirs in Cambodia, then we advise you to first have a look at the Angkor Temple area because we got much better deals there than compared to the town of Siem Reap. After our lunch, Vet showed us two temples of his choice and we will show you these in a separate video.